Hello, my fellow Naga worshippers. Today's journey takes us through the artistically rich landscape of the acclaimed Fire Emblem series. From quaint pixel art to intricate treaty models, we'll explore how this beloved franchise's visual evolution has enriched the gaming experience and vividly painted the tales of heroes and villains alike. So, ready your brushes and let's paint a picture of this stunning evolution. Our tale begins in the era of the pixel, where every detail was lovingly crafted within a mosaic of coloured squares. It was a time of simplicity, yet also one of profound creativity. Fire Emblem's debut on the Famicom system was marked by the charm and expressiveness of pixel art. Our heroes and villains came to life through this minimalist medium, their personalities shining through despite the limited resolution. For example, the blue and red pixels of Moth's sprite not only represented the character but symbolised the hope of an entire kingdom. The strength of the pixel art era was its clarity and simplicity. A knight was immediately recognisable by his helmet and armour, a pegasus knight by her steed and lance. It was the golden age of less is more, where the imagination fills in the gaps, giving the simple sprites an emotional depth, transcending the screen. With each leap in technology, the tapestry of Fire Emblem's artistry evolved, becoming more intricate and captivating. The pixelated canvases of the past grew into sprawling digital murals, teeming with life and detail. Each new wave of technology washed away the restrictions of the old, giving birth to a new renaissance in video game aesthetics. The once modest pixel count multiplied, providing artists with a palette to craft incredibly intricate designs. A paladin's armor, for instance, was no longer a simple collection of silver and grey pixels, but a mosaic of intricate patterns and designs that told a story of nobility and courage. Sages, once distinguished by a few pixels of blue and white, now donned ornate robes adorned with beautiful detailing. Their staves meticulously crafted, pixel by pixel. The once iconic blocks of transformed mannequins were now depicted with a fiery intensity. Their dragon forms exhibiting a fierce expression that would send a chill down any foe's spine. However, this exciting evolution wasn't confined to the characters alone. The stages upon which our beloved characters fought their battles also underwent a significant transformation. Battlefields bloomed with rich detail, their terrains mirroring the complexity of the strategies employed on them. Forests, once simple clusters of green pixels, flourished into individual, distinguishable trees, their leaves rustling with pixelated life. Plains bore the textures of windswept grass, while mountains rose with rocky crags and precipices. Even the elements themselves were imbued with movement and vitality. The simple blue squares that once represented bodies of water began to undulate and shimmer, the pixels dancing in the light like the real waves they were designed to mimic. This transformation turned the terrain from mere strategic consideration into a vibrant participant in the battles, reinforcing Fire Emblem's unique blend of strategy and aesthetics. In this era of expanded capabilities, the world of Fire Emblem took on a new level of immersion. Every pixel, every sprite, and every animation contributed to a living, breathing world that resonated with the game's narrative and themes. This progression paved the way for Fire Emblem's eventual transition into 3D modeling bringing us into a new age of aesthetic immersion that we'll delve into next. The transformation of Fire Emblem's visuals was nothing short of a revelation with the advent of 3D modeling. In what seemed like the blink of an eye, 
the world of Fire Emblem expanded into a new dimension, reshaping our understanding of its artistry and revolutionizing our experience of its narrative. Characters we had come to love as charming 2D sprites took on a new form, standing tall as fully realized 3D models. The once simple facial expressions could now display a broad range of emotions, from the fiery determination of a vanguard charging into battle to the subtle smirk of a rogue hatching a cunning plan. Body language, too, became a significant aspect of the game's visual narrative. The posture of a knight, the stance of a mage, the graceful gait of a pegasus knight. All these subtle cues added depth and personality to the characters we'd grown to love. Beyond the characters, the game's environment, too, underwent a dramatic transformation. Battlefields once flat and two-dimensional, sprouted into multi-leveled landscapes, creating new opportunities for strategy and exploration. Likewise, forests became denser, castles more formidable, and mountains more intimidating with the shift to 3D. But this transition was not merely aesthetic. It redefined the fabric of Fire Emblem's gameplay and storytelling. The 3D space allowed for dynamic camera angles during battles, crafting cinematic moments that added a dash of spectacle to the strategic combat. A sword swing wasn't just a simple animation anymore, but a sweeping arc captured from multiple perspectives. Magic spells lit up the screen with dazzling displays of light and colors, the effects accentuated by dynamic camera movements. Moreover, the treaty maps introduced new strategic elements into the gameplay. The battlefield was no longer a flat grid, but a multi-leveled labyrinth, where the high ground could offer an advantage and choke points could be exploited. This new dimensionality of the gameplay served to further deepen Fire Emblem's rich tactical experience. In essence, Fire Emblem's transition into 3D was not just a visual overhaul, but a transformative experience. It built upon the series' strong foundation of character-driven storytelling and strategic gameplay while ushering into a new visual and interactive immersion era. It was a leap that carried the series into the modern era of gaming while honoring its rich heritage and staying true to its core. This magnificent visual evolution has indelibly shaped the gaming experience of Fire Emblem. It has been an extraordinary journey that started with pixel art's subtle beauty, navigated through the intricate maze of high-resolution sprites, and emerged into the breathtaking expanse of 3D models. Each stage of this journey brought a unique lens through which we could immerse ourselves in the intricate narratives the thrilling strategic battles, and the memorable characters that define the rich tapestry of Fire Emblem. Starting with the simplicity and charm of pixel art, Fire Emblem ignited our imaginations, inviting us to fill in the blanks and become active participants in the story. As the technology evolved, so did the sprites, becoming more complex and detailed, offering a more detailed rendition of the world, its characters, and their conflicts. This visual enhancement paralleled the growth of the series itself, the layers of its narrative, and the depth of its gameplay. And then came the era of 3D modeling, a leap that changed the landscape of the series. The characters we knew and loved leapt out of the screen, inhabiting a world rich in detail and bursting with life. We saw the dread in the eyes of a warrior facing a formidable foe, the gleam of a newly earned weapon, and the intensity of a mage summoning a powerful spell. These were no longer flat images on the screen, but living, breathing entities that commanded our empathy and respect. The landscapes, too, evolved from two-dimensional maps 
to multi-leveled battlefields teeming with tactical opportunities. But again, the immersion was total. We weren't just observers, but active participants navigating a dynamic world, making strategic decisions that impacted the narrative unfolding before us. As we stand at the brink of future installments, we do so with a deep appreciation for this remarkable visual journey. It has been a testament to the ceaseless creativity and relentless innovation of the game designers, artists and programmers who breathe life into Fire Emblem. As a celebration of how far we've come into video game aesthetics, this journey has shown us the transformative power of technology and the limitless potential of human creativity. And thus, we conclude our journey through the tapestry of Fire Emblem's visual evolution. But hold on to your swords and tomes, for our exploration of this fascinating realm is far from over. In our upcoming video, we'll shift our gaze from the artistry of Fire Emblem's aesthetics to a more unexpected facet of this beloved series, its educational potential. That's right, this epic saga of strategy, heroism, and intrigue is a source of entertainment and a rich educational resource. We'll explore how the strategic gameplay at the core of Fire Emblem can foster valuable skills such as critical thinking and problem solving. After all, each battlefield in Fire Emblem is a living puzzle, challenging players to think on their feet anticipate enemy moves, and adapt the strategies on the fly. We'll delve into how these experiences can sharpen cognitive skills and promote strategic thinking within and outside the gaming realm. Moreover, we'll discuss how Fire Emblem's complex narratives and character interactions can provide a deeper understanding of narrative structures and character development. From the broad strokes of epic quests, to the subtle nuances of character relationships, Fire Emblem is a masterclass in storytelling with valuable lessons for aspiring writers, artists, and creators. So, join me in the final chapter, where we delve into the fascinating intersection of education and gaming within Fire Emblem. Whether you're a seasoned tactician, a budding scholar, or just a curious fan, this journey promises to be as insightful as it is engaging. Thank you for joining me on this artistic journey through the visual evolution of Fire Emblem. If you've enjoyed this exploration, please do give this video a like, share it with your fellow tacticians and art enthusiasts, and comment below with your favorite visual transformation in the Fire Emblem series. Until our next artistic adventure, and may Naga be with you. Ciao!